So this was a slow game played in Foxwoods. And I used to work with Talia. Uh, she lives in St. Louis and she plays in the U.S. women's and the U.S. junior girls a lot. Although now she doesn't play in the U.S. junior girls because she's too old. But, you know, in the 2015 to 20 period, she was playing. And she's played in a few U.S. women's championships. I worked with her in St. Louis. And then when I moved away to here, we worked, you know, on the internet for a while. But we haven't worked together in many years. Okay, so she knows the, the, the Sicilian really well. She played here. So I decided to do something tricky, which is I played the move C4. I expected her to play knight F6, which isn't necessarily the best move, but it's fine. And then I go here, and we've transposed into an English opening that I know for both sides and that she doesn't know for either side because she doesn't play the English and she doesn't play this way against the English. So I did well in the opening to get her out of something that she knows that I know, except I, I didn't know it well enough. So she played here, and I always thought bishop c5 was an error and bishop b4 is better, um, but bishop c5 is fine. And then this is the main line, bishop b4. And so in this position... I thought white had a big advantage because I thought this line was bad for black because I think the reputation when I learned this line in the 1980s was this is bad for black. But since then, super GMs have played this. Like there was a game Geary Carlson or Carlson Geary, which went like this uh, and some other games. And I'm supposed to play the move queen F3. And then white is slightly better Queen d4 is an alternative. I played queen g4 trying to refute, you know, what she did. And she played knight takes c3, which is correct. And I played bishop d2, which is correct. And in this position, she made a very bad move. Uh, black has an advantage by just castling. Or knight takes a2 gives black a very slight advantage. But that's actually really complicated. So castles is the simple way uh, to get an advantage. Can anybody guess what move my opponent played here? You have to remember that she used to be my student, so she followed one of my rules. Hello, Derp Derpy Moose. Blunderless got it. Putty Wimbus eventually. Bishop F8. Okay, Engine doesn't like that. Okay, so I took... And she played d6, which the engine doesn't like, prefers d5. And now it says I'm up 1.4. So it really likes white's position. If you're just joining us and you thought this bishop hasn't moved yet, you'll be interested to know the bishop went to b4, then went back to f8, confusing the audience. Okay, she took... Okay, and here I played the engine move because in 2019, I, I wasn't as good as I used to be, but I was still a little good. Not much. Better than I am now. So here I played the engine move for white. So what move did I play? This is not an easy move to find. Your answers are shallow and pedantic. 
Speaking of shallow and pedantic, it's Benjamin Bach. Hooray. Thanks for the raid, Ben. I hope you had a good stream. Do I have any mods here that can give him a shout out or I have no mods? Meepex is a mod. Put Meepex to work. Yay, Meepex did something. Rip D5. Ben just won the 960 qualifications. Why, thank you. Oh, you mean the other Ben. Yeah. This question is more of a Benjamin Bach question rather than my chat. Because the answer is not easy. What should white play here? It's Mark. Go Mark. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. So the guys who jokingly suggested castles are on the right track. I'd like to castle queenside. So I played a move which helps me and helps me to castle queenside, and that's bishop d3. And that is the engine move. So now I can castle queenside next move. Okay, my opponent played queen e7, which is good move. Castles. Now my opponent played the best move, g6. Shocking. And now it's funny, the engine says I should play queen takes, but it says bishop takes is almost as good. So I took with the bishop, she checked, always played king b1, and she castled. So white's better here because uh, I can get an attack against her king, and she can't really get an attack against my king. And I didn't play bishop takes c7, which is the second best move. I played the best move by putting it in h, because h5 in takes is just winning. Okay, now she thought forever because I remember her thinking forever. And she played what the engine now says is the best move. Bishop g4. And then I thought forever and I played what the engine says is the best move now. But I thought a long time about h5, taking, rookie one. I thought forever on like every possible move. And I played f3, which the engine recommends. And she she should play rook fe8 here. And it says I'm up 1.8. But she played bishop e6. So now I'm up like 2.2. h5 is the best. And she played one of the top two moves. She can play g5 or queen g5. She played queen g5. Now in this position, the engine doesn't like my move. It wants me to play queen h2. But I took on g6 first. And supposedly, uh, this, this is not as good as playing queen h2 right away. Although I don't know why. But queen h2 is better than takes takes queen h2 because Stockfish says so. But this is also good. It says I'm up 2.2. So, okay. And she played rook a d8, which is the best move. That's an amazing move. Okay, she defended really well this game. So the idea of rook a d8 is if I win a piece, then she plays rook takes d3, and then bishop f5, and it's just a draw. And I can't win. Even after a bishop takes, it says it's just equal. Okay, so I thought a long time, and I played the best move, f4. And she played the only move, queen h5. And then we did that thing that we were talking about. Okay, and in this position... If she plays rook d3, 
I can take and then take this bishop. Um, so she played bishop f5. And now I played by far the best move. Let's see who can get it. I actually played well this game, which is weird, except for my queen g4 in the opening, which was dumb. That was like my only bad move this game. I was very impressed with my play and her play. I thought we both played great. So what's the only good move for white? Not c4. Uh, my pawn's on c4. Bishop c2, me pecks, hangs, rook takes rook checkmate. Therefore, bishop c2 is not a good move. And you should, I should take away your moderator status. I only have one move that gives me a winning position. Okay, you have the right move, but the wrong reasoning, which is bishop takes f5. That's the best move. Okay, he takes, and I take, and now he has to take on f5. And this ending should be winning. I'm only a pawn up, but my position is just really good. Rook f2 is not very good. King d3 is the best move. a3 is the best move. And this is just winning. Yeah, the engine likes the way I'm playing. And after a4, she resigned. And it says I'm plus six. So that game I played really well, except for queen g4 in the opening. That, that wasn't a good move. Terrible.